Salutations. Wanted to do a fast blast over uh, ship construction again. And in this one, I think I've kind of missed something a little bit uh, in terms of the construction and the four components I've told you that they have, which is um, a type of quasi crystal compound and also organic or minerals that are mined from planets that are devoid of Van Allen belts and sometimes atmospheres, and also uh, uh, DNA from the crew and then a type of a fungus and how they're growing over the uh, wormhole and everything. We've talked about that, but I got a little bit more, I think, taken with discussing the fungus aspect and not as much the metamaterial aspect of the, she the shell or the skin of the craft, which would be these minerals that are mined from Van Allen belts, but more importantly, the quasi-crystals that I think that these minerals are combined with to make some type of a metamaterial that they're used to construct with the ship also. Now, when using that, the quasi-crystals I've seen in two different ways. There can be also one on board during this experience, the shell of the ship itself. And this is the craft that why once quasi-crystals comes important is because this is the craft I've shown you many times that morphed on me, okay? This is uh, the tripyramidal Merkaba that I had show, I've shown you a couple of times that winds up interesting look like this in the sky. This is something I physically witnessed this craft do and it turned into this what's called in the Keys of Enoch book a tripyramidal Merkaba. A couple of videos on this channel about that so I won't go too much into that but the component of that that is important is it's got this thing look like crystals floating a molecule that was almost like a crystal huge floating in the sky with these rods on it and these were actually as most of the crystals I've shown that I've told you I've experienced which I'm including this one, which is an engine on a different experience completely that I've shown you before, and this thing was big, okay? When dealing with quasi-crystals, when it was activated, it looked like this. When dealing with quasi-crystals and what they are, what our science knows about them, is they're slightly got a different symmetry, but you know, they're grown. They're grown in labs. And right now, the crystals that I saw, these were about like nine feet tall, I'd say, by three feet wide, they looked to me. This thing was huge. Right now, our science is not capable of growing quasi-crystals to this size that I'm aware of. And something else is that all the, all the crystals that I've seen on board, sorry, make sure I get this to you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me, make sure that all these crystals that I've seen on board craft are illuminated inside. Some type of a bioluminescence or chemical luminescence inside. That's the only thing that Kassara didn't get on there for me is I didn't, wasn't really, for, I didn't say it good enough was the light inside of the, the crystal. She did such a good job though. But anyway, there's a bioluminescence inside and someone at uh, the conference, I think it was Floburn's conference, a uh, gentleman, uh, Frank, I think it was, that mentioned it might be piezoelectric, the light that you're seeing inside. And that takes us into the electric universe. At first I thought no, but then I thought, well, you know, you might be right on that. Anytime I've seen the piezoelectric effect, it's got um, a pink and a yellow type of light inside the crystal or it's, it's, it's presenting. So that could have something to do with the environment that this, 
these crystals are grown in as well. So anyway, that's just the quasi-crystal component taking this and also I've certainly shown you some beings here, a couple of them. This is one of the Andromeda Council members, the little blue guys, two and a half feet tall, I'd say, pushing it three feet maybe, but they all had these uh, rods. And on the rods had these the odd formed crystals. I remember seeing like a weird symbol on it and also these fiber optics that were moving. So that's also another one of these type of crystals that was glowing inside too. The fiber optics is moving off of it. So that's another one. And then we've got the beings that so many people have resonated with. I did another video on this channel that's called the Wajina and the throne beings. These are throne beings, what I call them, based on what's called the throne energies, but most importantly connecting to this. So I'm getting real excited. The, the lockdown's starting to get over and brother's getting excited, you know, you can get a haircut now. So anyway, um, sorry, uh, <laughs> the three crystals here, <laughs> you know, it's like these days going to the, the store is like going to the club, you know, <laughs> got to dress up to go to the store. There's no activity. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> having some fun, folks. Anyway, um, there's three here, these crystals, just how this is, conforms and ties into this. It's the three crystals in their, in their chest. And I've tied that to the Wajina and some pictures that Mary Rod Rodwell had presented of kids that had presented uh, some contacts they had that were type of Wajina and how they all seem to have these crystals in the middle. Okay, so that's just connected again. So we're dealing with these organic quasi-crystals, not just on the ship aspect and the shell of the ship and as engine and propulsion, but also as in some of the energy of the beings themselves. When I say their DNA is involved, we're dealing with some type of that also, these quasi-crystals. So I think that's just cool to tie that in. Now to take this a step forward, and in some ways I see that this is tied together that I've seen in the phenomenon that just helped me personally. Is sometimes I would I'd hear things, and one would be um, Shirley MacLaine. Uh, she was talking to Oprah, I believe, before Oprah started own her network. But they did an interview, and for a long time, Shirley MacLaine has said, and people have talked about how you see UFOs at her ranch that I think is in New Mexico, and how you can see them going into the mountain and out of the mountain. And also, that lady has a very interesting medicine wheel out there that I think she walks once or twice a day. Fascinating. Anyway, she's very interesting. Anyway, I guess that so many people have seen, like, even Kraft hover over his hot tub, or her, excuse me, her hot tub, that has caused quite a stir. And it has changed some lives in that way. So she had mentioned on that interview, though, that she near on her ranch, that property is near, I think it's the caldera mine where the crystals had exploded and are all over the place or just uh, scattered. She thinks that somehow the craft are either amplifying that or gathering that, inf that, that, that energy from those and they're somehow connected to that, those crystals there. I thought that was a fascinating observation from her point. And, you know, anyway, so that's one thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, another one that definitely ties into this very decisively would be um, a story that I had somebody I knew well that was actually, um, I worked with professionally too. And they were uh, from a family that was uh, mining crystals and gem collectors. And from my state, they were quite well known. All right? So during their youth, they went all around to different mines, different places collecting crystals and gems. So they had quite a, quite some interesting stories. The one story that stood out to me was they said they were at a mine and I want to say it's in North Carolina or South Carolina somewhere where um, they actually were mining for green, the, the, the cave had green tourmaline, pink tourmaline, and black barrel. And it would sometimes get all clusters, these weird these cool clusters would come out of there. And they had had an experience with an individual that was one of the caretakers of this mine that they believed was what I would call a charter, an extraterrestrial of some type that was telepathically communicating with them, but they were a child and didn't understand exactly what was going on. So that, that implies there, why would these type of extraterrestrials be looking after this mine or being interacting with it here on Earth? Now that takes us a little further into uh, what, when I researched it, when I started finding that the compound of pink uh, tourmaline or green tourmaline and black barrel can create two substances on them. One that's bismuth, bismuth, excuse me, bismuth, I want to mispronounce that. And the other one is uh, albite. These are two substances that to me seem very similar like natural occurring quasi-crystals in nature. 
But I think that that substance and that, that combination and that mind is some reason that the our star beings are watching after that. So that shows you how closely that ties in to maybe Earth and some of the organic craft and some of the things we've been talking about. Remember, these are still organic craft. This is organic crystallography. So this is going a step forward from what we're used to. So I want to emphasize more the crystal compounds, the self-illuminating compounds that are possessed both in the shell of the craft, within the propulsion, and also within the beings themselves. So that's just something to put in there. I'm looking over my notes, make sure I got this to y'all. I'm going a bit long on this. But I uh, want to also, I wish everybody well. Um, I had gotten attacked. I get troll attacks all the time. One of them was interesting. Somebody went off on me for saying, please uh, stay safe and wash your hands. So I was buying into stuff by telling people to wash their hands. I swear to you, that was a problem long before the, uh, the COVID area, era. People were dying in the hospital all the time because they weren't washing their hands. So wash your hands and stay safe. Viruses are much smaller than the bacteria that we're using the soaps for that to be washed away. Anyway, uh, that's most all of it, all right? Uh, things that look kind of similar in nature, I see naturalite, socialite. Those look like kind of these natural quasi-crystal compounds. I'll put some pictures of those up because the naturalites and socialite looks a lot kind of similar to the device that the Andromedans were holding uh, as far as the moving type of almost... Uh, uh, a fiber optic looking. It kind of looks so social light and natural light looks similar to that. Just something to tie in there. Please subscribe. Please put a like on the video. I want to say thank you to everybody that's wished me well. Put a video out a, wh a while back that just got really great. A lot of love came from it. Thank you very much because it wasn't an easy one to do. Please subscribe. Thank you for the Patreon people. You're keeping me going. Peace.